Good afternoon, everyone. COVID cases in Ontario and Great Bruce have once again started to rise over the last few weeks. Currently, there are 48 active cases reported in Great Bruce. This is probably a low estimate as there are likely unreported cases with mild or no symptoms that have not been included in the data from the health unit. Sewage so sampling data confirms that COVID activity in Ontario is increasing and virus levels in sewage are about one half of what they were at the last peak. The number of people in Ontario hospitalized has also started to rise with 985 people hospitalized, more than twice that of two weeks ago. While we have not yet seen a rise in people in the ICU, on ventilators as well as deaths, these indicators generally lag hospitalizations. Being fully vaccinated with a booster is still the best protection against getting seriously ill with COVID. Data from the Ontario Science Table shows that if you are over 60 and vaccinated, you are 35 times less likely to end up in hospital with COVID than if you are unvaccinated. This drops to 54 times less likely if you have had a booster shot. In response to the rising number of cases, the Ontario government, in consultation with the Chief Medical Officer of Health, expanded eligibility for second booster doses to Ontarians aged 18 and over in order to provide an extra layer of protection to those who may need it. Starting on Thursday, July 14th at 8 a.m., eligible individuals can book an appointment through the COVID-19 vaccination portal or by calling the Provincial Vaccine Contact Centre at 1-833-943-3900. As we continue to manage COVID-19 for the long term, we are expanding second booster doses and extending the availability of free rapid antigen tests to give people the tools they need to stay safe and ensure that Ontario stays open, said Sylvia Jones, Deputy Premier and our new Minister of Health. Vaccines continue to be the best defense against COVID-19 and protecting our hospital capacity for those who need it most, she said. Second booster doses are being offered at an interval of five months after an individual receives their first booster dose. While most individuals 18 to 59 years old will continue to have strong protection more than six months after their first booster dose, expanding second booster dose eligibility will ensure that Ontarians can make an informed decision based on their personal circumstances. A new bivalent COVID-19 is anticipated to be approved by Health Canada this fall, which may offer more targeted protection against the Omicron variants. Ontarians are encouraged to speak with their healthcare provider about whether getting a second booster dose now is right for them. High-risk individuals who should get their second booster dose as soon as possible, and many have been eligible to do so for months, include individuals 60 and over, residents of long-term care homes, retirement homes, or elder care lodges, and older adults living in other congregate settings, as well as individuals who are moderately to severely immunocompromised. The Ontario government will also continue to provide free rapid antigen tests to the general public through existing channels like grocery stores and pharmacies, as well as to workplaces, schools, hospitals, long-term care and retirement homes and other congregate settings until December 31st, 2022. Dr. Kieran Moore, Chief Medical Officer of Health stated, expanding eligibility to second booster doses and providing continued access to testing will empower Ontarians to make the best decisions for their circumstances and keep our communities safe. Staying up to date on vaccination is the best protection against severe outcomes from COVID-19. At the town hall, good progress is being made on the official plan review project. On July 10th, members of the official plan steering committee attended the Thornbury Farmers Market to receive feedback, provide answers and discuss the official plan with the public. In addition, the Official Plan Steering Committee has been working on finalizing the technical changes for the Official Plan Review. 
A public open house will be held at the town hall on July 27th from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. And a public meeting will be held on August 8th at 1 p.m. in hybrid format on Microsoft Teams and in person at the council chambers at the town hall. The steering committee looks forward to receiving the public's feedback to the proposed changes to the official plan. To learn more about the project, visit www.tvmblueprint.ca. After an exciting Canada Day weekend, which featured a pancake breakfast, a parade, and lobster fest the next day, summer events in the town continue with family-friendly movies hosted at parks throughout the community every two weeks. Before each movie night, there will be exciting pre-show entertainment and a variety of children's activities provided by the Blue Mountains Public Library. The movies will start at dusk, approximately 8.30 to 9 p.m., and everyone is encouraged to bring their own snacks, chairs, and blankets. Next week's movie is Sing 2 at the Lions Park in Clarksburg on July 20th. In the event of inclement weather, the movies in the parks events may be rescheduled or canceled. Please watch the town's website for updates at www.thebluemountains.ca forward slash movies. Please enjoy the great summer weather and everything our great town has to offer. And most of all, stay safe.